It's funny as hell thinking about that shit though. For real. It's like shit. 20, 20, like 2010, 2011 was turned for me, you know? Like I said, before I left though, my little brother had caught my apartment on fire, you know? I went, I remember like, it was Halloween, you know? I'm going, uh, I'm getting ready to uh, go to my ex-roommate uh, apartment and shit. I'm going over there to party with them. So I get free. I tell him he was trying to, um, I'm getting dressed. He trying to cook some chicken or some shit, some fries or some dumb ass shit. So I'm like, I say, nah, don't cook that shit. You gonna have me smelling like fucking fried chicken. He, all right, so he stops. So I get fresh, boom. You know, I, like I told you, the challenge is brand new. So I'm, yeah, I'm feeling like the man. So I, uh. So I go over there and shit. I'm over there for a second. It wasn't, it wasn't nobody over there yet. It was like a few people over there and shit, right? So grabbing drinks and shit, you know, like I'm like, man, man, pull up, man. You about to turn up, shit, like that, right? So I, I think I was in there for about like 10 minutes. And I get a call on my phone. So I, hello, hey, this is DeKalb. No, this is the Northern Police. Cause NIU Police, yeah, that's what he said. He was like, this is the NIU uh, Police. He. Oh, your apartment has caught on fire. You got to come back. Ah, oh, what the fuck is this shit? So I, my uh, little homie Jose, uh, Tokyo, he, Tokyo come on. He like, man, I slide with you. So we, we slide to the crib. Get over there. My little brother standing outside like this. Now, mind you, he, he, that's my younger brother, but he not little. You know, he bigger than me. He fat and shit. At the time, he was losing weight or whatever, but he was still bigger than me. He over there like this. Ah, right, man, what the fuck is you doing? Right. I look at shit, they say, yeah, he caught the apartment on fire, and ooh, I'm, what the fuck, he, he still ain't saying shit, I'm, you ain't gonna say nothing, he still ain't saying shit, though, he just looking at me, he ain't even respond to that, he just like, man, I, damn, so I go in there and shit, man, tell me why the sprinklers come on, so all my shit wet, my Jordans, all that shit wet, I think my computer was, was decent, though, I think I saved that and shit, but the kitchen was burnt all up. You know what I'm saying? He burnt the whole kitchen up. Like the, uh, you know, from the stove and all of that, from the vent. All that shit was black. Water everywhere and shit. They say, you you know, you got to get your things. You, you can't sleep here tonight. So I'm, damn. But I was so angry that I ended up, like, leaving and shit for a minute. I went to go party and then I packed up and they made me go live in the dorm again and shit at uh, Neptune. I had to go live in Neptune or whatever. But I'm like, damn, man, that shit. And then to this day. You know, this 2019 going to 2020, he still haven't apologized for that shit. It's not that I'm looking for it or whatever, but I just feel some type of way. Like, damn, bro, you, you can't even say you apologize. Like, it was seeming like my own family, like my own brother was trying to sabotage me or something, you know? And uh, and then what's crazy, even when I moved to the dorm, I w he wasn't supposed to be in there with me. I ended up letting him come and stay with me in the dorm and shit. You know, he didn't have no idea or nothing. I still did that for him, but... You know, that's, that's family business. I talk about it, but I just, this shit just crazy, so.